Pope Benedict's days as head of the Catholic Church are dwindling, but the crowds in St. Peter's Square are growing. Yet so are those whispers and rumors about why he's leaving and about what will happen next. ABC's David Wright reports from the Vatican City again tonight. The crowd today was twice the size of last week's Sunday blessing. A hundred thousand people come to say goodbye. Benedict said his goodbyes by way of a gospel verse, Luke 9:28. At this point in my life, the Lord is calling me to climb the mountain, he said, saying he'll still serve the church, but in a way better suited to his age and strength. This time next week, the papal apartments will be sealed and the campaign to choose Benedict's successor will be well underway, but it's already clear it'll be anything but politics as usual. This weekend, the Vatican struggled to refute unattributed reports in the Italian papers that a church sex and blackmail scandal is about to explode. And today, more voting cardinals were being pressured to bow out of the conclave because they've been tainted by the sexual abuse scandal. Among them, Roger Mahoney of Los Angeles and Sean Brady of Ireland, both of whom covered up for pedophile priests. Today, new allegations against Britain's senior cardinal, Keith O'Brien. Four priests in Scotland told a British newspaper he made unwanted sexual advances. The cardinal, known for his outspoken views against homosexuality, denies the charges. You know, whenever you have a transition, you get tons of rumors and all these, all these whispers. Most of them are not true. Today, in one of his last papal tweets, Benedict asked for a show of good faith. David Wright, ABC News, The Vatican.